So, Bald JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on why the number one player in the nation, Marvin Bagley, is ready to dominate college basketball. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm looking to do more videos on high school and college basketball, not just the NBA. So a like will tell me if you want to see that. Also, leave your feedback in the comments down below and let's go with this video. So it was reported on Friday, July 14th that the number one player in 2018 out of Sierra Canyon, who, if you don't know, is probably the most stacked high school basketball team in the country right now, is considering skipping his senior year and reclassifying so he can begin college basketball in the fall of this year. This player is 6'11 power forward Marvin Bagley III, an athletic stretch forward who can handle the ball and shoot it from deep, that's prime for the NBA these days. Although he's number one in 2018, he seems to be overshadowed by other stars like Zion Williamson and Bull Bull. Hype-wise, okay, other players may have him there. But on the court, you can see why this man is number one. First off, Bagley is already 18 years old and is going to turn 19 in March. So age-wise, he could be in college right now. Second, Bagley plays like a grown man and against grown men. Just look at these highlights from the Drew League, where he directly challenges DeMar DeRozan, dropping 32 on him and his team. Third, Bagley is ranked a 5-star, .9999 prospect. And while I guess you can beat that because Greg Oden did, how'd that work out for him, right? But this ranking is different. Bagley doesn't have an injury history, and although he's only played in two high school seasons, he was deemed ineligible to play his sophomore year after transferring to Sierra Canyon for athletic reasons. Now that would not be a suspendable offense in California. New rules in place now. His player description is polished. Bagley averaged a double-double last season with 24.6 points per game and 10.1 rebounds as Sierra Canyon finished 27-3 overall. Even more impressive are Bagley's stats during the Nike EYBL circuit, which consists of far more challenging competition than that of the high school season. Bagley averaged 25.8 points per game and a league-high 14.9 rebounds per game while shooting 54.6% from the field. It also doesn't hurt that KD showed up to one of his games at Peach Jam. Hey, just had to throw that in there, hey, you know me. Although it would be exciting to see Bagley finish his senior year at Sierra Canyon, teaming up with newly acquired transfers Cassius Stanley and Kenyon Martin Jr., there is literally nothing holding this man back from jumping straight to college. I personally think he should graduate early and go to college. Duke and USC are the rumored favorites for Bagley services for one year, and he could really improve the 2018 NBA draft class. You could get on me in the comments for this, but I can't name another player besides Michael Porter Jr. who will be a part of the 2018 NBA draft class. And after this 2017 seemingly loaded class, that would be a big drop off. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Should Marvin Bagley jump straight to college basketball? Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback in the comments down below. We'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon. JC3, out.